Welcome back everybody to Clonade After Story. I'm very, very sorry about the short little break I took. You know, it always happens with me. I need to take breaks to maintain my humanity or something like that. Anyway, we're going into episode 9 today. Um, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. <laughs> I, uh, I finally removed a sweater and replaced it with a t-shirt, as you can see. I'm not wearing sleeves. Well, because it's so hot today, I even have a fan on in the background. It is humid as hell. And I don't know if you can tell, tell uh, that I've changed colors a little bit, but maybe. Um, yeah, head of getting sunburn on your head, I heard this bad, and I'm afraid of getting it. So I will smear myself good. Anyway, you're not here for that. Uh, Clonide After Story Episode 9. I saw in the comments that someone was saying that this is the official ending of uh, the first season, I guess. Well, the last episode was anyway, so this is the after story. And I'm, basing off of that, I had this prediction even before I went into Corona. I thought it was going to be a time skip, but maybe this time we will have a time skip. In the middle of the season for some reason. I don't know. But we'll find out. And I hope you guys are ready for season 2. <laughs> for episode 9. Anyway, let's go. So you're building like a flying machine. Or some sort. And it looks like uh, uh, the Shinigami from Death Note or something. I don't know. <sighs> they keep referencing this like, world. And if it gets cold, she freezes up and dies. And is that a reference to somebody? Is it though? Is it not? I don't know. Aww. <laughs> he doesn't have a plan. <laughs> Just avoid the subject completely. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, you're so cute. Oh. <laughs> Just kiss already. Oh, really? That sucks. Oh, yeah, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, mom, why didn't you hold it in for another month? <gasps> Date. Yeah, it sucks because then you just get a present both times, uh, the same time. Oh, just, just, if you don't want to buy two, just be like, you know, just take this. It's the birthday and Christmas present. Sorry, I missed that. You're going on a date and she's so cute. Ah! Oh, you're, I didn't know you were a seat, uh, junior or whatever. Kohei. Oh. That's adorable. Oh, yeah. Damn. Wasn't that where her parents were going? Is that what she's going? Why is she going there? <laughs> oh, thank God. I mean. Yeah, keep your violence to yourself. God, now everyone's looking at him with this. Hmm. Oh no, are you... What the fuck is happening? What happened? Did you come out of nowhere? Damn, well... Shit. Oh, is it this thing she had early? Uh, fucking... Last time? The... When she was a kid? God. I'm nervous. Please let her be healthy. Please let her live a healthy life. Uh, sorry. Hmm. 
You better be here when we get back, okay? <sighs> oh no, the pig. Oh my god! Why would she freaking <laughs> crack the ball with a book? Are you insane? You must be some sort of maniac. But I love you. You don't need PE, you have all the strength you need. <laughs> You're in Tomoya. Tomoyo. Fuck. Right. <laughs> because that'll be normal. <laughs> yeah, you got everyone's eyes. Oh my god. Yeah, I can see him being worried. Just, Nagisa and her family is pretty much his only like anchor point at this point, I'd say. And of course his friends. Oh. Oh, damn, really? This is like a disease that I've heard of. Uh, it's not like a disease, but like a being sick very long. It's called the kissing disease that I remember called, being called, at least Norwegian. I don't know about it. The English version, but maybe, maybe similar to that. You were gonna go on a date too? No. Oh yes, my boy. He's got his priorities right. Oh, yeah, you are. Sure. Please don't let anything happen to her. Ugh, gonna rip my shit out of my head. Oh, really? We're, we're doing time skips here. He has really grown up from his fucking shit in season one, hasn't he? He almost looks younger. I maybe guess he just fucking... He got his priority straight, that's for sure. But what about his dad? That's what I'm... Yeah、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや
Yeah, go to another school. That's actually very clever if he did that. <laughs> I'm sure you don't. You know, you bring two delinquents together, they both find a way together. Oh. Yes! Oh my god, at least he has friends. I'm a sucker for love. お前と過ごした最後の一年だけは楽しかったんだ。やっぱり俺もユネスすればよかった。トモヤ君。うん。That's tough. You sweetheart. Please hold hands. また熱が上がるぞ。ああ。少しだけです。友也君と手を繋いで歩きたいです。うん。立ち止まることなく歩きたかった。どこまでも、どこまでも。ずっと続く坂道でも。<笑> That almost really got me. Shit, dude. This is getting... Oh my god, that, that was the first episode where I felt true joy at the end. That is insane. What the fuck was that? Oh my god, that is so good. That was such a happy moment between the two. Finally, for, got some actual like, love interaction with these two. That was amazing. <laughs> if you like that <laughs> please tell me and goddamn that um i hope the next one will be equal if not better i love that that was so good thank you and i'll see you for episode 10 high five and goodbye <laughs>